All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media and today we're doing a first impression of the brand new anime mobile gacha game from Netmarble called Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross. Now, from my understanding, the Japanese version of this game has been out for quite some time. This is of course the global version which just came out yesterday and so far, every single person that I've talked to who plays the game absolutely loves it man people keep telling me this is the best gacha game out there so i'm definitely super super excited to check it out i've had the release date marked my calendar for quite some time now but to be completely honest with you guys i know nothing about this game like i've been excited for the release but i've intentionally stayed away from all trailers all gameplay uh, tutorials guides all that stuff because i want to go in completely fresh so what you're about to see in this video is a genuine first impression of the game since as i said i know literally nothing about it but what i do know is that i love the show i love the characters it's probably in my top 10 favorite anime of all time so either way this should be a pretty good time so without further ado let's jump in and see what it's all about here we go Tutorial will begin. Additional game files can be downloaded while you progress with the tutorial. So I'm gonna click yes. I think we've already downloaded all the data for the game, so we should be good to go. I think. Okay, so we're starting with a opening cutscene slash intro. Pretty standard. Here we go. Here's our girl Elizabeth in the armor. Spoilers for anybody that hasn't seen the show, but to be honest, if you're watching this video, you probably should watch at least the first episode. So if you haven't seen anything, then stop this video. All right, go over to Netflix or whatever anime watching website you use and at least watch the first episode so you're not completely lost here. All right, so there's our boy Meliodas up to his usual antics, of course. I gotta say, so far, the graphics are really, really good. At least for the cutscene. I don't know if it's, like, gonna be as good for the actual gameplay or future cutscenes. Maybe it's just the intro cutscene to suck you in, but this looks really, really clean. For a mobile game, it looks really, really clean. Damn. Excellent voice acting as well. I'm pretty sure it's just the original voice actors. Um, I'm curious to see if there's like an option to switch over to English voice acting. Now, I'll probably just keep it the same even if there's the option, but I actually don't mind the English voice actors for this anime. Not gonna lie. I watched half the show in English, half the show in Japanese. I still prefer the Jap Japanese voice acting, but the English is not too bad for this show, man. I've definitely heard worse, like a lot worse. Right, so there's the wanted posters. It's funny how different all of them look from the posters. Yeah, damn, this looks really good. And I like how they could have just, you know, taken the anime and put it into the game, but instead, they actually recreated it in the game graphics, like 3D graphics. That's that's a nice touch. All right, more loading. Ooh. <laughs> I expected that trailer to be, or that intro to be a lot longer, but we're jumping right into the tutorial. You think maybe the Seven Deadly Sins bastards were trying to destroy Leonis as well? But the Grandmaster of the Holy, Holy Knights figured out the Seven Deadly Sins betrayal and stopped them in their tracks. The stories of that battle are something else, huh? Alright, so how does this work? Uh, turn start. Skills are distributed at the beginning of each turn. Okay. Using skills. Select the skill to use. Okay. Number of skill uses. You can select as many skills as there are empty slots. Skills are activated in the order they're selected. Got it. Okay. Tap. Hold and tap. Tap and hold a skill to view its information in detail. 
uh, inflicts damage equal to 180% of attack on one enemy. Okay. All right, here we go. Damn, okay, that's pretty clean. That's pretty clean. I know these are like the low level skills. I'm sure there are some crazy animations. Like, like this, ultimate move. Yo, this is pretty sick, man. Holy crap. Is this what the entire game's gonna be like? Because if so, this is the best looking mobile game I've ever played. Holy crap. I mean, I played Epic 7, and Epic 7 looks really good. But this is like on another level, man. This is almost console quality. It's, it's like, <laughs> it's like what uh, Raid Shadow Legends claims to be. But this actually is kind of on par with some of the, at least anime console games I've played. It's crazy. The Grand Master of the Holy Knights fought hard, but the Seven Deadly Sins were powerful and the Grand Master became more and more exhausted. Yet he never backed down. That's right, the Grand Master of the Holy Knights fought the Seven Deadly Sins until the very end. I wonder why Seven Deadly Sins is always in brackets. Like, what's that all about? They say he held his ground until his body was all mangled up when the bastards killed him. Okay. Increasing skill rank. If two of the same skill are next to each other, they will become a higher rank. Okay, cool. So you can fuse skills. Um, let's try using skills to create a rank 2 skill. Alright, so... Click that one. Oh, I see, I see. So it's at the, it's at the bottom where, where they fuse. I thought you had to, like, you know, select them first. Uh, skill rank up tiers. There are three ranks for each skill from one to three stars. Okay. Use the higher rank skill. Dark Void Buster. Dope. Finish attack. <laughs> Is this like a kill shot or something? Damn. So I wonder if that's for every fight or is it only for this tutorial fight? Well, to be honest, this is basically the first episode, so even if you guys didn't watch any of the show, you're essentially watching it through the game. Although I still recommend to watch it, because it's awesome, but maybe it's not necessary. I actually forgot about this outfit. It's nice, but to be honest, and maybe I'll upset some people, some Elizabeth fans out there, but I prefer Deanne, man. Deanne is like top waifu for me in this game or in this show. Elizabeth is nice, don't get me wrong. But I, I just like Deanne more as a character, you know? That's just me. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree. Or do you prefer Merlin, Jericho? There are some actually top tier waifus in this game. Um, or in the show, into the anime, the, the manga, you know, the series. There's some top tier waifus in Seven Deadly Sins. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Back to the, <laughs> back to the game. Do they ever explain why he's called Hawk? Because that, that, that's an animal too. It's a bird. But he's a pig. So why is the pig 
named Hawk. Did they ever explain that? Ooh, my bad. It's so bad, she started crying. This is crazy. This is almost as good as just watching the show straight up. It's not as good. Don't get me wrong, it's not as good, but it's almost as good as just straight up watching the uh, uh, watching the anime. Because the cutscenes look so clean, man. They did such a good job with these. この部下の七つの滞在ですか。なわけないだろ。七七七と。俺はジャンパン処理騎士団団長なんだぜ。七七七七と。俺はジャンパン処理騎士団団長なんだぜ。七七七七と。俺はジャンパン処理騎士団団
Oh, that hurts. That jerk's stronger than he looks. Yeah, what a surprise. But I'm sure the captain of the knighthood of Scraps Disposal, Disposal can take care of him. No problem, right? Of course, there's something I've been saving up for a time like this. Uh, can we use Hawk's ultimate skill? You can move skills to different positions by expanding one of your skills uses. Oh, interesting. So I'm going to move this one over. And get a three star skill. The number of skill uses is decreased when moving a skill, but it is possible to increase ranks of multiple skills with one move. I see. Okay. Yo, when do we get to use an ultimate skill though? There it is, ultimate move gauge. Completely filling the ultimate move gauge allows the hero to use an ultimate move. Makes sense. Now you've made me mad. You're dead meat. Just try and knock and block this ultimate move. Alright, let's get it. You can use skill lock to skip a turn without using a skill. Oh. Damn, Hawk! Sick. Sick. Loving the animation so far. Loving these animations so far. Episode clear diamonds, a kind of gem preferred by nobles and royalty. It fetches a high price fitting for a gem that symbolizes eternity. Are the diamonds for summoning? Is my question. Or is it for something else? あの、見どもを助けていただいて、なんと俺を言えばいいか。聖騎士たちを止めるためです。聖騎士をここ the animations in this game are insane. They're, they're, they're insane. Like, they look so good. I literally feel like I'm watching the anime right now. And as I said, man, not every developer puts this much effort into their game. Like, there's a lot of games out there where instead of cutscenes, you just get, like, pictures. They just get images. But all of this stuff is animated, man. You could literally not watch the anime, just play this game, and still be good. The Dragon Sin of Wrath appears. Alright, let's go. Oh. みもと不明者
生きたままトライオとのご命令ではありますが自己死ならば致し方ないでしょうなおおけっけえ自己Alright, let's kick his ass. Let's kick his ass. Come on. Twigo. Get out of here with that confirm nonsense. Confirm this, you're dead. Good one, Huck. Alright. Yeah, even these normal attack animations are nice. This is dope. Maybe his attribute has an advantage against yours. Oh, right, of course. Um, each attribute has leverage against another attribute. Use these leverages to take advantage of your battles easier. Uh, to make your battles easier, disadvantage is 20% decrease, advantage is 30% damage increase. So blue is strong against red, red is strong against green, and there's only three types. Okay, that's simple. I like it. I don't think my attacks are going to do any good against this guy. Why don't you take care of him? In return, I don't want to hear you complain or eat my scraps. I can eat 100 bowls, bowls of scraps, don't you worry. Are you gonna do this because you don't want to eat my scraps? No way, I meant it when I said I would eat 100 plates of scraps if you took him down. Thanks to you, it looks like we lost a precious, precious chance to attack. You can go back and select skills again for the beginning, so don't worry. Ah, uh, so we can reset. Nice. This way you can uh, reset to an empty state before you select skills. Why don't we get this party started? Let's do it! Alright, so I'm gonna use Meliota skills. Free battle. Freely fight Twigo as you see fit. Alright, well, why don't we use these two? So we can combine the Elizabeth attack. Ooh. Oh, we got counter too. Sick. Oh. Man, I was hoping to use that ultimate attack. So just like Dokkan, the counters in this game are busted. I feel like counters in mobile games in general, or pretty much any game, counters are broken. Uh, we're rank 2 now, sick. Max stamina and friend count increased by 0. Okay. Episode clear, more diamonds. Uh, clear the main stage. The Dragon Center Wrath appears near Kane's village. Okay. Can we summon now, please? Oh, this is the longest tutorial I've ever been through <laughs> for a gacha game. Usually it's between like 5 to 15 minutes. It's been almost 25 minutes so far. And it's still going. This is wild. This, this tutorial has been longer than the actual episode. <laughs> than the actual first episode of the show. No way. This is a huge surprise that I did not see coming. Oh, 
確実にこやつを仕留めただが一撃をもらったのはこのわしじゃとなんだそれは羽織の剣まずい貴様の顔に Yo, this music is dope too. Like, everything is just really good about this game so far. Everything about this game has been awesome. The animations, the gameplay mechanics seem like a lot of fun. The voice acting, and now the music too. I get it, man. I get what everybody was talking about. People keep telling me this is the best gacha game out there, and I totally get it now. I totally 100% get it. This is crazy. Ah, bad, bad guys. ああ。<laughs> it seems like they've censored it slightly because we haven't seen any groping yet which uh, was definitely in the first episode. So there's a little bit of censorship here. Just a little. Quest reward, episode one, the seven deadly sins. Sir Meliodas, I wanna ask you something. Hmm? Are the seven deadly sins, are you really the horrible criminal that, claim, that they claim you are? What kind of crime did you commit? What kind of crime? I think there's some confusion. You didn't even know who I was, yet you rescued me. Maybe... Don't try to evade the question. Did you really commit a terrible crime? I suppose you could say that. Episode 2, the... Holy Knight's Sword. Go to Vanya. Okay, can I, like, not go to Vanya and just, like, do some summons first? Like, can I... Can I... Re can I... Not re-roll, just, like, roll one time? <laughs> Get my girl, um... Deanne? Man, it's making me do chapter 2 as well? Oh, hold on. No, we can summon! Right? Chapter 1, chapter unlocked, a new legend begins. I would give for you, Elizabeth. You need new clothes, so go get changed. Oh, cool, we can swap out costumes. Okay, so we change her into the boar hat costume. Uh, okay. Nice. Okay. <laughs> what is this outfit? It's our uniform. Sorry, he's into this kind of thing. So, my job is to listen for information from customers regarding the seven deadly sins while waiting on tables, correct? Uh. It looks like Hawk's mama is ready to get moving. Okay, let's head to a town where we might be able to gather some information. Reward 30... Diamonds, the tutorial completion reward has been sent. We are finally done this tutorial after 30 freaking minutes, guys. 30 freaking minutes. Don't you think it's a good, idea, a good idea to look for allies before heading over Meliodas? All right, here we go. Draw. I'm assuming that's the summon. There we go. Intro draw. 30 gems. Draw 11 times. Uh, let's see. We can get... Basically all the characters, uh, all the members of the Seven Deadly Sins, but I definitely want to pick up Dn. alright? I've said multiple times, she is the target. Here we go. Let's get it. Is, are we guaranteed an SSR? I don't even know. 
We better be, man. After going 30 minutes through the tutorial, we better be guaranteed something. I do not know what this animation means. I think we have to win the fight, though. To get something good. Ooh, interesting. Okay. That looked like a draw? Oh no, that is an SSR. So I think we're guaranteed an SSR. <laughs> okay, wine date. Wait, wine date. Oh, it's the archer from the Royce of Dawn, right? Um, go, go, yes. Weird fangs. Holy Knight Jude from the Weird Fangs. Ooh. Oh! Elizabeth and Hawk. Didn't we already have them? So is this like a dupe or something? Uh, Alioni. Beard of the Mountain Cat. Another SR. Oh, Jericho. That's sick. Oh, my bad, Gila. <laughs> now I got Jericho and Gila mixed up. My bad, guys. My bad. Is this our SSR? No, it's not. Uh, Marmas. Holy Knight Marmas. Another SR. There's Jericho. Alright, so we got Jericho and Gila in this first multi. And is this it? Nope. Another Gogius. Another SR. Oh, it's the Weird Fangs girl. Whatever her name is. Freesia. Free, Freesia. Freesia. Here is the SSR. Ah. I mean, he's cool. Arthur's cool. I don't know if he's, like, good. It's not... It, it's, it's not the end, though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little disappointed. A little bit. Maybe I should be happy. Maybe I should be happy, because I'm sure he's fine, but I just really, really want a DN. So uh, we got Jericho, we got Gila, we got um, the Archer dude from the Roars of Dawn, and then we also got uh, Arthur. I guess we can't re-roll. Maybe I'll just keep Arthur, I don't know. Uh, I'll think about it, I'll think about it. Okay. You're the one who will save Britannia from turmoil, what is your name? I'm just gonna go with... Tiger. Okay. Hey, Meliodas, I think Elizabeth wanted me to give you something. Nothing for me, though. Hmm. I have a special gift for you. You'll take it, right? I'll take any gift you give me. Ah, uh, it's, a, it's a daily thing. Okay. <laughs> Yo, there must be some kind of, you know, a starting reward or something like that, right? Because so we have a guaranteed SSR ticket. Later on. Ooh. Yeah, this must be a new player thing. Okay, so 50 gems. Uh, UR Meliodas. SR Meliodas. UR Sword. And some kind of chest. Special reward for new adventures. Okay. Um... And why don't we head start heading towards Vanya? I hope we can get there before the day is over. Mama's running fast, so we'll get there pretty quickly. Let's stop up on Vanya Ale like last time. Alright, that's cool and all. It's gonna be tough all, uh, all around when the Holy Knights catch us up to us, so why don't we set a team to decide who will fight with us? Well, obviously, we're gonna put in Arthur. You can select your team from a list of heroes you own. Let's choose the heroes to fight alongside. Uh, okay, we'll go with Arthur. Unique charisma can be acquired upon evolving a hero. Okay, let's set him. And, uh, wait, let me set Jericho too. I can only bring one guy. Auto set. You can also use auto set to form a team easily. Let's try it now. Alright. Okay. Oh, there it is. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay. No, I, I thought they took out Arthur. I was like, why would you take out Arthur? Wait, they did put in Jericho, which I'm happy with. 
Setting a team based on enemy characteristics will help you in battle, so be sure to look at their information too. Okay. Placing a hero in the secondary slot gives you an extra skill during combat. Fighting with 7 skills at your disposal is a big deal in a battle, so make sure to set one. Okay. Uh, receive help from a supporting hero makes difficult battles easier. Make sure to check details for supporting heroes. Now let's head towards Vanya. I got some diamonds. I don't want to start though, I want to summon more. Okay, fine, let's, let's do this one more stage. Or I'll just do one more stage, and then we'll do another summon. And that's pretty much going to be the video. Uh, it's already going pretty long, but what can I do? They're just forcing me to play all these levels. Okay, so select three skills. Let's go with some Arthur skills here. Uh, increases the basic stats of one ally by 20% for two turns. Okay, so let's go for Meliodas. Uh, this is an attack, I believe. And let's use uh, this one as well. Attack all. Cool. And... Oh, it's enemy turn now. So Arthur has a buff and an attack as well. Uh, let's go for this. And that. And the Arthur attack as well. I don't think we'll need it though. They're probably dead. I like that little bounce before Hawk runs in. And I wasn't talking about Hawk, just to be clear. Alright, people are leveling up. Uh, <laughs> Elizabeth and Hawk were the MVPs. Beat up before a difficult battle for various buffs. Oh, there's food in this game. Interesting. Achievement unlocked. Reach player 2. Or sorry, rank 2. I don't want to go to Vanya. Can you just let me do some other stuff first? Like one more multi, maybe? First purchase bonus. Yo, I'm probably going to be spending a good amount of money on this game. Not even going to front. I, I'm probably going to be spending a decent amount of money on this game. Uh, we're here. We'll be gathering information from Vanya this time around. We purchase different types of alcohols from different regions, but Vanya Ale stands out as the best. Many are fans of Vanya Ale because it's made with the best tasting water in the kingdom, along with the groats that grow by the riverside. But it looks like that water's all dried up. The vegetation near the river has withered as well. I wonder what happened. That damn gill thunder. Well, something definitely happened. Let's go to the village square to see what's going on. Vanya ale is our bread and butter at the tavern. We came all this way. We can't go back empty-handed. I guess time for another cutscene. Oh, is there like a exploration aspect? Oh, interesting. Tap and move your finger to move in a desired direction. That's in. Whoa. But there's this too. I did not expect that. Oh, okay. Move to the circle inside the town. So it's like a little bit of a, um, not open world, but you know, you can move around a little bit. That's pretty cool. You know, one thing that always confused me was, you know, Gil Thunder was pretending to be a bad guy the whole time to protect, um, oh, what's her name? Elizabeth's sister, I forgot her name though, but the girl he loves, right? He was pretending to be a bad guy to side with, uh, with the Grand Masters, but he didn't have to do this. If he really wasn't a bad guy, then why did he act like such a dick? You know, he like he could have just like done what he was told and stuff, but this was extra. Like he just was being a, a, a dick to be a dick. So I, don't, I, don't, I never understood that. Maybe you guys can explain to me in the comments. Like, why did he do this if he wasn't actually a bad guy, you know? Or did he just do this to, like, keep up that front? Maybe? I don't know. Don't anger the Holy Knight any further. You got something against us or something? 
What? It's not like that. We won't let you get away with your lies and shenanigans anymore. It's funny how the village is known for their alcohol and the kid's name is Mead. Um, screw you guys, I hate all of you. Everyone stop this instant. Hmm, I think we got here at a bad time. He may be a bit of a troublemaker, but he's actually an honest kid. Episode 3, The Boy Who Lied. Mead, a troublemaker who lives in Vanya, says he hates the villagers and runs into the tavern. Follow him. Alright, so confident yet so wrong. Maybe there's another side to this story. Let's go to the tavern. Okay. Man, stop making me do things. I'll get to it. Just let me summon one more time. Oh my god. Yo, this actually kind of feels like a, a, a console game. Like, like I know, obviously, it's, it's you know, it, it, the, the, the aspect ratio is like a mobile game, but the actual way the game works and the graphics and everything, the voice acting, the music, everything, it kind of feels like a full-fledged console game. The quality is, is, is insane. All right, the boy who lied. Go now. I'm already here. Ooh, can I go to draw? Oh, yes we can. All right, let's do this, let's do this. Um, are there other banners out there? Oh, there's a girl, DN. I think this is the only banner available at the moment. Oh, there isn't. Um, so this is a GSSR banner. Race draw one, human giant unknown. Race draw two, demon fairy goddess. Race draw, or draw grade R to SSR, human heroes, and that's it. Okay, so let's do this one multi. Um, oh, one free per day? One, you can do a single free per day for reviewing an ad? Let's do that, I'm down. Let's do the free one. How long is this ad though? That's a 20 second ad. Okay, so we're watching an ad for some kind of... Uh, some kind of crossword game with a moose as the mascot. Okay. Yo, I'm down to watch a, yo, Dokkan should implement this. I'm down to watch an ad every day for a free single. Okay, so let's close that. Here's our free single guys, and then I'll do the paid single as well, or paid multi as well. See, this looks like our last animation. You know what? Actually, we're getting beat up. We're getting beat up. It's not a good sign. Just blue text. Probably gonna be garbage. Probably gonna be garbage. An SR? Alright. Oh, freaking Dreyfus. Or Dreyfus, my bad, Dreyfus. Probably not like his best version or best form, I'm sure, but... That's not bad. I'll take it. Alright guys, this is going to be the last thing we do before this video ends. We're going to do one more multi. Um, if you want to join me for maybe a group summon on your reroll, then feel free to join. Alright, let's do this, guys. Uh, oh, actually, do you have any gifts or anything like that? Free items uh, available daily upon viewing an ad. Okay. And it just, there's nothing else. All right, so we'll do that later. I'm not going to view any more ads on camera. Uh, let's do our multi. Here we go. Get ready, guys. All right, if you want to do a group summon, um, pull your phones out, pull your games out. We're going to do this. Was Hawk there last time? Ooh, this looks different. This looks different. Ooh. Okay, this has got to be a good thing. This has got to be a good sign. Yeah, okay, this this is a guaranteed SSR. This has got to be a guaranteed SSR. Guys, get ready. We're going to go together in 3, 2, 1. Let it rip. Here we go. Guaranteed SSR on the way, I think. There it is. Just one. Not bad. Another Jericho. I like it. Our first, uh... I forgot her name. The one that's in love with... Uh, yeah, the one that's in love with Kill Thunder. Vivian. 
Another Gogius. Uh, Twigo. 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 I don't care. Uh, Taizu, the fighting festival guy. Ooh. Wait. Oh, this is the SSR Jericho. Okay, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. She is a quality waifu. She is a quality waifu. Wait, does this mean that we're getting two SSRs? Or is this the one SSR I saw? Like, was, that, was, that like a, was that like a fake out or something like that? I guess we'll see. Okay, Jude. Oh, it's uh, the old king guy. Uh, Burning Ember Knight of Danafor Kane. Yeah, we're getting two SSRs or just the one. That's my question. I guess we'll find out. Another Dreyfus. A new Elizabeth. <laughs> nice. And that's it. Okay, so the, the SSR was the Jericho. So, yeah, was that good? Let me, let me know in the comments down below, guys, if my two SSRs that I pulled were good. I got Jericho and Arthur. I do still want Deanne. She is the number one waifu of the show, but Jericho is great. And Arthur's Arthur's cool, so it's, it's okay. It's okay. And there you go, guys. That is the video. Almost 50 minutes for the tutorial. Kind of crazy, but um honestly i didn't get bored the entire time this is a really freaking fun game and my overall impression is that uh i'm gonna be playing this game a lot there's a claim oh let me check these bundles uh, acquire a additional guaranteed ssr upon first purchase of a diamond product you will receive a guaranteed ssr ticket for free which will allow you to recruit an ssr to your hero Ooh, diamond product uh is that in the shop i'm assuming purchase bundle I'm not gonna buy anything on camera right now, but I just wanna see what these are like. Uh, this is subscription. And then starter bundle, 10.99 for 10 diamonds, three race draw tickets, and 20 bonus diamonds. So a multi, basically. That's not too bad of a deal. Starter bundle, $255 for a Meliodas and 50 diamonds. That's kind of pricey. Um, and is there anything else? I think that's it. Okay, so I'll look into it. I'll think about it. For now, we're going to hold off on spending any money, but I probably will. Eventually. So, yeah, that is the video, guys. I love this game. It is freaking awesome. Everything about it is just top, top quality. Um, you know, as I said, man, I get it. I understand why people love this game so much, and I'm probably going to get really into it, too. So... Definitely expect some content in the future for Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross right here on this channel. Um, and let me know in the comments down below if this video, if you guys watched all this way, convinced you to play this game as well. At least give it a shot if you haven't heard about it. And uh, if you're already playing it, then yo, keep having fun. Uh, stay tuned for maybe my friend code or whatever because I do want to you know add some of you guys. But uh, we'll see about that. So. That's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching the first impression of Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross. Absolutely amazing game. Great job to Netmarble. And uh, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out. <laughs>